Bovine tuberculosis is an infectious disease which not only affects cattle, but also impacts the natural environment and public health. The Agri-Food and Biosciences Institute in Northern Ireland is using world-class science and research to investigate ways to prevent the spread of the disease and keep cattle herds free from infection. Selena Downs went to Belfast to find out more. Another day, another outbreak. A calf has tested positive to bovine tuberculosis. The animal has had to be slaughtered, the farm has had to close, and agricultural production has ceased. It's an epidemic costing farmers, the government and taxpayers tens of millions of pounds each year. Dr Elizabeth McGowan is a senior director at the Agri-Food and Biosciences Institute. AFBI is recognised internationally as a centre of excellence in bovine tuberculosis research. AFBI is very much uh, at the forefront of research with regards to bovine TB and working with other universities across the UK and into our own government and into the DEFRA government, working with our, our collaborators to establish um, how we can manage bovine tuberculosis. So through next generation technologies to understand its, its transfer from wildlife to livestock and vice versa and indeed then modelling up you know, how we could potentially reduce its uh, transmission. Much of the research is done here at AFBI's laboratories in Stormont. Dr Adrian Allen and his team have started using whole genome sequencing to study transmission of the disease, which is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium bovis, or M. bovis. We're only looking using the old technology at eight sites, the bovine genome. So genome sequencing gives us the ability to look at all four million letters of genetic code in the M. bovis genome. And then we can use that to figure out how each individual isolate taken from an individual cow or badger differs from each other. And from that we can build trees of genetic relatedness, which gives us an insight into the ongoing transmission dynamics that are happening in areas. And it's that type of technology which is going to hopefully give us um, a greater level of resolution in what's happening uh, at a very, very local scale. It's also hoped this research and its findings will influence the policymakers. We've already used it in an area in uh, eastern Northern Ireland and have seen the best evidence so far of ongoing transmission between cattle and badgers. So these are species which are continually transmitting to each other. And that's the sort of thing which hopefully can go on to inform policy as to what to do about that. We have a market and this market is obviously trading. Dr Andrew Byrne leads a team in veterinary epidemiology, the science that looks at the patterns of a disease and how it spreads. He's currently studying the vast network of cattle trades across Northern Ireland to see how it impacts on transmission. Essentially what we do is that we utilise different data sets, both ecological and epidemiological, to try and find, for example, risk factors that help us understand the epidemiology of the disease. And then by understanding these risk factors, help to inform policymakers in terms of interventions and developing the programme around trying to control the pathogen in both wildlife and in domestic hosts, which is cattle. Protecting animal, plant and public health is one of the key aims of AFBI. David McCleary is head of bacteriology and says another major global challenge to the agri-food industry is resistance to antibiotics, which play an essential role in veterinary medicine and animal welfare. Antibiotics have revolutionised human medicine, but they also have an essential role in veterinary medicine and for animal welfare. Um, the challenge is uh, whether that impacts on resistance spreading through food chains. So the work here is very much to um, help to promote animal health, uh, to promote animal welfare, but also to make sure that the responsible use of antibiotics underpins everything that we do. Supporting industry and the environment and improving agricultural production is at the heart of all the work carried out at AFBI. Through innovation and partnerships, its groundbreaking work ultimately benefits us all.